Welcome to another OCD Recovery Instagram Live. I'm going to be talking a little bit about fear of fear because I covered it the other day and um, I wanted to talk a bit about a bit more about it. One of the things that people do in OCD is they get so scared of being in this sort of locked in cycle that they feel that it's 100% their responsibility to get out of this. If they don't get out of it, they're going to be stuck forever. Their whole life's going to be ruined. And because of that, they feel this sort of urgency inside where they've got to get rid of it now. They've got to work on it every day. They've got to make sure it's gone. And if they don't do that and they don't just keep working like that, it's not going to go. And they're just going to be stuck like that for the rest of their life. And that's where the responsibility element gets in because the OCD's often got that responsibility, that heightened, exaggerated responsibility. And so it's going to do that. It's going to, it's going to specifically make you feel I've got to work so hard internally to get rid of it. And so we have this sort of attitude of we need to sort of unlock this mechanism that's that's driving it. And we work so hard to do that. And that's actually a large part of the problem. It's, it's not that. It's learning to change our perspectives, which reduces the framework that it operates in. Learning to see that it's not as scary as we think what's going on. That our brain hasn't been completely hijacked and broken down. We're actually intact. We're actually the same as we ever were. You hear OCD sufferers often say, I just wish I could go back to how I was on 2017 March before I developed this. You don't need to. You're exactly as you ever were You're right now. It's only just your fear of fear that's so much fueling it. Plus some of other fears that you've just picked up because of the way it's it's latched. But those things aren't permanently broken. They're just a perception at this time. But as you learn to be less scared, primarily the fear of fear is such a large part of it. And But often it latches and locks on, on some f- f- feeling. Um, it, it, you should, you, it, it locks on in some way that in the background that we don't, we, we don't spot it. And we, we often will think, oh my God, look, I've relaxed. I'm not so scared anymore. It's, it, why is it still there? Well, it's still there because, it's, because we're still scared of something. We're still scared of something. Now, that doesn't mean we're broken. It feels like that because the anxiety is pumping in the background. So we think, oh, something's definitely wrong. It's not releasing. But actually, there's nothing wrong. We're actually we're, we're exactly as we were. We're exactly as we always ever were. But we've just become a bit scared of something temporarily. That's all right. That's not a problem. You're going to work through that bit by bit. That's not that is not uh, something that's that you're never going to get over. But you need to accept that too. Giving up that resistance. What if I never get over this? What if I'm stuck like this for the rest of my life? Leave that. Be all right with that. Leave that be be there for now. Leave that maybe you're going to be a bit stuck like this for a little while. That's all right. If you do that and you give yourself a bit of peace, internal peace, instead of trying to stir this muddy water all the time, that's you, you, you think of your brain as this sort of like with a muddy water and you've got a stick and you're trying to clear it by stirring it and stirring it and stirring it. That's not going to do it. You need to leave it to settle. But you are constantly trying to re-stir it, re-stir it, re-stir it. And that is constantly bringing it up and creating those sensations. And it's very much like that. We, If you were ill or you had the flu, you'd leave the flu to pass. But with OCD or with anxiety, mental health things, people are like, no, I've got to fix something. I've got to do something in my head. I've got to get rid of this now. It's got to go. I've got to have rid of this. And then once it is, then I can relax. Then I can be free. Until then, all systems go alert, alert, alert. And it's not a thing like that. It's not a situation like that. It's about learning to leave that there whilst learning and understanding new things about how anxiety works so we can become less scared and less afraid of things. I think a really good video today is if you check out Nick's video on our YouTube channel talking about the history of OCD, just from a gratitude point of view, how lucky we are to live in this time zone and this time in this in this era now. Um, you know, we, we, in the past, people were put in mental asylums with OCD. Uh, people would have been burnt as a witch uh, if they'd said they were possessed or they were a witch or possessed by a demon. We live at a great time. OCD has just been misunderstood for a very long time. And it's about learning to make peace with that, not viewing it as this sort of impossible Mount Everest climb to get to recovery. It's not. You've got to do it in stages, bit by bit. And then it's not as scary as you think. But it is scary if you think, if you think, oh my God, I'm the worst 
person of all time. I'm treatment resistant. I'm never going to get better. I'm going to be stuck like this my whole life. When you think like that, then it feels very isolating. You feel like you're facing such a momentous task at hand. Whereas in reality, it's not that. So you want to break it down. It's more challenging than you'd like. It's more, it's, it's, it's more learning and more work and persistence than you would prefer to have. But in reality, going through this today is so much better than any option they had in the past. Think about that whenever you've got an exposure, how lucky you are to have that exposure in front of you. People in the past would have killed for an exposure. They didn't even know what an exposure was. They didn't even know they had OCD. So they had no chance of any map in front of them of anywhere to walk at all. So that gratitude there is key. And I think, I'm just gonna work on this one day at a time. One day at a time, I've got great people around me that are gonna really help me to get better through all the resources that are available online and, 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 and so many, and the books and so on. So you've got that and just go with that one day at a time, just learning and not viewing it as I've got to battle this and get rid of this and get it all fixed. Guys, I will be on the next Instagram Live doing questions and answers. Um, so I will see you guys on the next one and I'll cover all your questions then. All right, guys, I'll see you later.